So welcome everybody. Um, today I got a very special event for you. First of all, thank you all for sticking around for this Friday at 12 o'clock. But we're going to talk about how to trade the Super Bowl. Okay. Now, um, you know, we do this once a year. It's a very fun time to, uh, in the sports. You can see I'm wearing, you know, unfortunately my Jets about 53 years still haven't made a Super Bowl. But um, definitely want to keep the, the tradition going on. And a little bit is one day I'll hope there will be. But at the end of the day, we're all here not to support a team, but we're here to support what we do for a living, and that's to trade. So I want to talk about how to trade the Super Bowl and what we look for. And for some of you that are here, I'm going to talk a little bit about you know, some of the tools that we use into trading. But at the end of this presentation, I'm going to invite every one of you to come into my trading room to kind of see it so you can get prepared for Monday and see how we're going to react toward this. So this is going to be more of like a, a, a two-part course. We're going to talk about this afternoon in our trading room. We're going to see what happens on Sunday, and we'll be ready to trade on Monday if whoever they show up. So anyway, quick little risk disclosure before we get started. Just remember, everybody, this uh, to make the lawyers happy. Results, uh, you know, obviously vary from student to student. I'm not making any guarantees that's going to work. I'm not going to make any promises. Um, listen, I'm not. This is strictly just educational. Okay, so please keep in mind, be smart before you you go out there and trade. Now, what we're going to learn today is I'm going to talk about how to find those stocks that are moving in the market. I'm going to talk about how we find follow the big money, which some of you here are actually talking about. You know, regarding talking about level three and level four. Yeah, we're going to talk about that stuff. We're also going to talk about uh, how to develop a consistent trading plan, how to get deal with today's modern day trading rules, and how to use it towards swing trading and options. And we're going to talk about how to turn this into a serious business, because that's why we do this. Now, um, listen, I've been doing this for 30 years, and I love doing what I do. But more importantly, I like changing people's lives. And there comes a time even like a professor in college or in school, you know, we want to be able, to be able to pass it down because there's just too many people losing money in trading, just way, way too much money people losing in trading. And you got to know what you're doing when you go out there and trade. Here's a photo of me actually at the NASDAQ center because the NASDAQ wants you to learn how to trade off their platform. You want to know how to trade, you know, and it's amazing how pe many people don't know how that works. Now, um, over the years, like I said, if you haven't seen me, you know, um, doing presentations everywhere, if this is your first time, it's great. I know you're not going to see the last of me. And if you've been here a few times, you're going to see that nothing really has changed other than technology when it comes down to it. Now, at the end of this presentation, just to let all you know, I'm going to give away my book. So you want to stick around to the end. Um, you can go to Amazon, pay $47, or you could have it for free. That's going to be my gift to you because I want you to succeed when it comes to trading. Now, just to let you know that um, regarding the NFL, I do a lot of charity work myself. Um, I've trained a lot of NFL players after they finish their career. You'll actually find some NFL players in our trading room time to time. You know, listen, it's, it, it, trading's a part-time job. It's a great job. And you know what? We all need to learn and we all need help, no matter where you are and what kind of trader you are. So you might think someone is doing great at one thing, but you know what? We're all going to be trading the financial market. We need to know how to trade this market, and I'm great to always be a part of that. Uh, now, just to let you know how I got started into this industry is um, basically I'm one of the original Souls Bandits. And how I got started is basically one of the original day traders back in the early 90s. I've learned from some of the best in the industry. I live here in New York, the financial capital of the world. I was trained by the best traders. And the reason why I became very good at it is because I've learned from very good traders. You want to be good at something, you don't work for a shit company, you work for a good company, right? That's how usually things should go. And you, know, and you want to learn from all the mistakes not to do. And that's the big thing about being a very good trader. Now, over the years, this is why parents taught me, you, know, you want to do, be good at something, you have to learn from the best people in the industry. I'm first generation Italian here. And like I said, you know what? My parents are very proud on how their family became. We all became great entrepreneurs. But the thing is, we always believe on passing it down to everybody so everyone doesn't make those mistakes. And that's the beauty about going out there and trading. So let's go out there and begin and get into the fun part about it, which is we all why we're all here. But I just always like to start trading to kind of just let you know a little about who I am and why I'm here. Now, with that said, I just want to start off and let's break the ice. 
Who do you think is going to win? Kansas City or the Philadelphia Eagles? I just want to kind of just, just go over that really quick. Just want to – let's just get that out of the way. Because if we have any football fans out there, and if you're not a football fan, maybe you like the colors, maybe you like the city. I don't know. Just kind of tell me what you guys think. Let's see how everybody – what everyone's picking here. What, what, what is your favorite? Okay, we got a couple of Kansas City fans. Looks like that. Okay, good. A lot of Eagles. Just because I wear green doesn't mean I'm an Eagles fan. Okay. Got Philly over here from John. We got JR. We got Eagles. Wow, a lot of Eagles. Kansas City from Billy. There we go. Mahomes, the Chiefs. There we go. Bill Ireland. Good to see you, Bill. Okay, there you go. That's what I like uh, because you like Don Henley. There you go. Eagles fan from Todd. Very good. All right. Listen, the reason why I'm asking this question is I'm not here to cause any camaraderie, but the big thing is no matter who a fan you are, this is just a game, and when you trade in in our trading room, we all trade. We're a team. You got to remember there's a winner and there's a loser. I, I believe that there are two brothers playing on each one, each, each team. There's a brother playing on Kansas City. There's a brother playing on the Chiefs. They don't get paid to be nice to their friends or to their brother or whatever it is. They get paid to win. So when it comes down to it, believe me, they're going to hit heads and do the best they can. They're not going to take the foot off the gas because the last thing you don't want to do is like, well, I can't hit my, my mom's here. I can't not take my brother out because then she'll, she would never like me. You know what? He's not going to throw the Super Bowl for that. Trading is the same thing. So being part of being a good trader and finding what we're going to teach you coming up in the next few, few moments, um, you have to all kind of work together like a team. And at the end of the day, we walk off the game like the team, and that's what it's all – that's what I've learned by being – also teaching NFL players all my life. Now, do you know what stocks – uh, now, you're probably asking questions. How do you know what stocks to trade, Okay. How do you know what stocks are going to be trading in, the, in, in, in going into a Super Bowl? And why are you picking the Super Bowl? Like, what makes a Super Bowl so great? There's a lot of things you're going to learn from a Super Bowl that, you know, that is going to affect the stock market. First of all, does anybody here know how many people view and watch the Super Bowl on Sunday? Now, I know that people from different parts of the country here, you probably don't you know, uh, have the enthusiasm as much as we do. But does anybody here actually have any idea how many people watch the Super Bowl on Sunday? I forgot. I could do a search on it. But I think it's like less than half the people in the country are watching it. I think, I don't know. I think it was something like that. I know it was a lot. Maybe some of you guys know. But with all those people watching, that's advertising. And why do you think it costs over a million dollars to run a, a commercial on the Super Bowl? Is because more eyes are watching it, and it's going to cause a demand. And if those companies are public, they're going to move. So there's a lot of stocks that are obviously going to make commercials. Okay, so not only you, maybe you don't have to care for the, the the show, but the commercials are awesome. And I think the first thing you're going to notice that's going to happen is that if you're watching the financial stations, and they're probably they're starting already, they're starting marketing their commercials, and you'll see like Bud, Netflix, Tesla, Pepsi, Disney, DraftKings, Coinbase, Carvana, Uber. I mean, all these companies are going to have commercials, and they're going to go. And the ones that spend money obviously have money to spend. And number two, some of them are going to be coming out with a product, hopefully is going to help them, or maybe even crush them. Uh, John said seven million dollars for a fifteen cents com- fifteen second commercial. Uh, this fifth, seven. I remember it was like a million five, like five six years ago. It's seven million dollars. That's no joke. That is that's a lot of money. So believe me, by them doing that, you know that there's a re- reason why they're investing that much money. Now my all time favorite, I thought was classic, was Coinbase. Coinbase, if you see on the left hand side, that was they had that little. I don't know if that was done intentionally or the server crashed, okay? But that thing was just going back and forth. It cost them – imagine how much money that cost uh, cost them to do that commercial. And then Budweiser and E-Trade and Pepsi, how much it cost them to do – forget about the $7 million for 15 seconds. Do you know how much money it cost to produce the commercial? 
Would it cost Coinbase to, to produce that commercial? So there's also other stocks that we need to look at. And this is where I think a lot of people are going to notice even more. What is the big thing that's going on? Legal gambling, online gambling. They actually passed a law in New York right before the Super Bowl that you could do online gambling. Listen, there's a lot of gambling stocks out there. Caesars, uh, Penn, uh, Penn, DraftKings, M uh, MGM. So these are all the stocks that you need to kind of watch, not only on the gambling part of it, but also on this part of it right here on their commercials. And sometimes even the players. I remember, I'll never forget, about 20 years ago, I was watching the Super Bowl. Does everyone remember when they had the, like, uh, the breathe straps they put on your nose? To help to help you breathe the you know, and all of, well, I'll never forget in the Super Bowl all of a sudden everybody was wearing them like what the hell is those guys wearing I never even saw it before and then that stock I remember on Monday went from seven to thirty eight dollars that day alone because everybody in the Super Bowl was wearing those breathe straps and who would ever know you know what I mean and that's how I really got into now implementing the Super Bowl into my trading because. Those are the things you got to look for. So now, now, for some of you from last year, just to let you know, these companies, these gambling stocks, did put a lot of money last year. And guess what? You would think they would have made a lot of money and do great. They didn't. They actually, uh, it didn't help them at all because they spent too much money on it, and it actually hurt them. So what does that mean, Fausto? Well, what about shorting? You know, so... That is another way you, a lot of traders don't take into consideration on the short part of it. Um, and then you had like uh, the NFL partner with Roblox. You know what I mean? Like all these companies are public, okay? You think you could dish out $7 million for, for 15 sec commercials? They can, okay? What about, the, what about um, well, they weren't public. FDX, that big crook, you know, went out there and, and with the cr cryptocurrency. But, uh, but they were running commercials. They run commercials because they're trying to sell. Now, how do we know which one to trade? Okay. Well, those stocks are going to come up on our scanners list. Okay. That's basically what's going to happen. We need to, we're going to see those stocks on Monday. And, you know, going out there, and even though you might say, oh, this is a great commercial. Wow, I'm seeing DraftKings do a lot of commercials, you know, or Caesars are doing a commercial, whatever it may be. But does it mean that they might the street's going to pick up on it? So the other thing that you have to remember being a trader is that you can't go out there and trade these stocks thinking like it's going to move on Monday. Because the trick is when you come into our trading room, we start trading at 730 in the morning Eastern time. We're going to be there an hour before the market even starts. Actually, it's even more than that, about two hours, okay, before the market opens up. We're going to start seeing if the street is starting to react to this. So when you guys register at the end of this presentation, and for some of you that are students, you're going to get in there and we're going to go out there and trade. Now, how we're going to know those stocks are moving? Well, they're going to show up on our big percentage gainers list. And it's funny, I was talking to a student the other day. And uh, actually, a new student that joined cyber trading, he's like, you know, I see that list, that scanner, and I really can't. How do you know which one to pick? Well, that's where the education comes in. You know, obviously, a lot of those stocks that you might find um, might be too volatile, um, might be too expensive. Uh, the spreads might be too big, might not have enough buyers and sellers. So. That's our job where we teach you what to do. So even though you might like a stock like Yum Brands that might move or whatever it may be, doesn't mean you can get in and out of them. But the two things that we're going to know what to look for is we're going to use these two tools to kind of get a sense of direction where the stock is going. Now, question for all of you here. How do stocks go up and go down, fellow traders? How do they go up and down? And you're a student here, so you should already know that. Buyers and sellers, right? Buyers and sellers. That's what drives these stocks to go up. Now, do you know how to track buyers and sellers? Because when we find these stocks that are moving in the morning, uh, we need to figure out who's buying it, who's selling it.
You know, these are things that you want to look at. So moving on, let me show you a couple of versions of level three and we'll start with that. So I love, I love trading on these two platforms. Now this is the NASDAQ book. For some of you don't have it, we'll tell you where to get it. It costs $15 a month. You can buy it right from NASDAQ. But it's going to give us the data. It's going to show us who's buying it and who's selling it. That's really what it all comes down to it. And remember, you cannot have buyers without support. Uh, you can't have support levels without those buyers. You can't have resistance levels without those sellers. So you might look at this and might say, hey, there's a lot of numbers going on. I can't keep track of it. Maybe it's moving too fast. Maybe your eyesight's not that good. You might want to make it a little bit bigger. That's okay. Um, there's also something called the matrix that you can get on TradeStation. And, you know, you could see it a little bit more clear. You know, you could see a little bit more buyers and sellers. You're seeing the raw data. But for some of you, you know, regarding about that, we'll talk a little bit about level four in just about another minute, John, okay? We'll get to that next. But I want to show you what we're looking at, how it uses data. So let's look at a stock called LCID, for example. So LCID, L, LCID was dropping down. Now we're going to find these stocks on the Super Bowl. They're going to move. And you might say, oh, I know Pepsi. It's a public company. Oh, I know Coca-Cola. It's a public company. But, oh, that was a great commercial. Everybody's talking about it. It won't stop. Okay, well, guess what? If they're talking about it, it's going to trade in the morning. Okay? And we need to see what the trend is. And with that trend, we need to know what's going to drive it up and it's going to drive it down. So in this case, we're looking at this stock and it's trending down. And what do we have? A big buyer out there. You have to understand, on the left-hand side, those are your buyers. On the right-hand side, those are your sellers. If we see a stock going down, we want to see where support level is. And there should be a big amount of shares like this one with 62,000 shares out there to be bought. You know, or the 187,000 share buyer out there. So these big, what we call iceberg orders, are going to make your support levels and your resistance levels. So what do you think happens when you get to these big buyers and sellers? Boom, the stock hits the support level and goes back up. Remember, that support level was built on those buyers. So when we're trading the Super Bowl and we're finding these companies, Okay, because there are so many stocks that are moving. Okay, even today, we have a stock today. Let me just bring up this stock. This is a pretty cool stock. Let me show you this. AP, um, AX, XPON. This stock started this morning. Okay, here's 930. Check this out. It started at $2.39. It ran all the way up to about $3.60. If you bought 1,000 shares of that stock in a little more than an hour, you literally made over a dollar a share. A dollar on a thousand shares, a dollar, is a thousand dollars, a quarter million dollar salary. Now, what does this company do? Who cares? Why is it going up? I don't want to know. Because it doesn't matter what I think, it matters what the street thinks. And when you look at a stock like XPON, hold on a second. Uh, and you want to know why is it going up or why is it stopping, this is what we're going to talk about next. It's these big resistance levels, these 60,000, 52,000 share sellers that do that. So let's move on and talk about a little bit more. Did anybody, by the way, did anybody here trade Carvana? This was like a $45 stock. Stock really took a very big dive lately, uh, but it came back at a nice little rally. Now, Carvana traded you know, had commercials during the Super Bowl. And how did it work out with Carvana? Not really well. They spent a lot of money on marketing. They spent the $7 million, which one of you just talked about, right? Uh, the 15-minute commercials. And sometimes it helps. Sometimes it doesn't, right? I don't know anybody here bought a, a car from Carvana, but someone told me I would never buy a car from them ever again after what happened, what they did. Listen, I don't care about that. That doesn't affect me. But Recently, Carvana had a nice little rally. Carvana had a nice push and went higher. Why did it go up? Because of buyers and sellers. Now, in this situation, you know, we were trading Carvana around 450. We got out with this big spike. We'll talk about that later. But you could see what, what's nice about this example. I don't know if anybody here uses TradeStation, 
But you can see that there's a quarter million share seller at 1111. 1111. Oh, that number just keeps following me everywhere. I heard that's like you, 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 your, your saints are telling you something. I just noticed that right now. 1111. Interesting. All right. <laughs> so stock goes to 1111 and it goes right back down from that $11.11 all the way down to a price of $10.20 uh, $10 um, in a matter of 10 minutes. So, you know, as we're traders, we're going to, with the, with the Super Bowl, we're going to get a lot of activity. We're going to get a, a certain amount of stocks that are going to be trading. Okay. And you might even find some of these other stocks that might not have anything to do with these commercials, but, but you'd be like, you know, getting back to that brief strip I told you that might cause volatility. Now, how are we going to find it? Through our, uh, our watch list. And when you join my trading room and you come on Monday morning, we're going to find them because they're going to show up there. So I'm really excited. So this is going to be like a two-part class. So please make sure you register for it. Let's talk about these iceberg orders. What happened when a stock breaks out? A lot of us want to know. Okay, well, here you have a stock that's going up. Big iceberg order at 19,000. What happened there? Hits that iceberg order. Does it break out? Obviously not. But eventually, as it was trading there, and it kept hitting it and hitting it and hitting it, it goes from $6.86 right up to $8. Why? Because resistance is built by sellers. Support is built by buyers. So as we're trading these stocks, you have to know where these buyers and sellers are at all times. Because when we find these stocks that we want to trade, and we're going to be seeing these commercials, and we're going to be seeing if DraftKings is going to make a move, because I don't know what commercial, how many they have, or Caesars Palace. I'm getting pinged every 30 minutes about, you got to do a trade, you got to do a trade, you got to do a trade, okay? Um, it's going to make these stocks volatile. It's going to show up here, but you need to know, okay, stock had a big rally, where do I take my profit and where do I take my losses? Now, let's hop over here on something a little bit more clear. I know a lot of you like charts. We're going to look at a heat map, okay? So here on a heat map, um, we're going to see more data, but we're not going to be focused on so much the orders. We're going to find and how long he's been out there for and how long he's been trading. So as we find these stocks that we're trading in the market um, and we see what's moving, with that said, you need to you want you want, want need some more clarity, and I kind of don't focus on the past, which most people do. I like to focus on the future. Now that sounds pretty cool if I could teach you how to read the future. How do you read the future by looking at those future orders that are out there? Now everybody here's biggest you know always asks Fausto, what's moving today? Or Josh, what's moving today? Rich, what's moving? Or you subscribe to a news, uh, a, a news service, or you want someone to tell you what you know. You everybody wants someone to tell you. Everybody wants them to tell them what to buy and sell. Well, you know what? You have to know what to buy and sell to go out there. And I'm telling you, what's going to be moving is the Super Bowl is going to be the next. Ever, comes once a year and is like a COVID. It's like uh, the internet bubble. It's like the financial crisis. It could be a catastrophe or it could be a great opportunity, okay? Now, for some of you, you might say COVID was a huge catastrophe, which it was, but it was a huge opportunity for Moderna, right? Where did that stock do go from 20 to 500, okay? How did it work out for Netflix? How did it work for Costco? It was a huge disaster for us as, as, as civilians, but it was a huge profit for them. So you are now stepping into new COVID, and that's the Super Bowl. But to be a good trader, you got – what I'm trying to kind of get into your head is that it's not what you think. It's what the street thinks. So you might think that Pepsi-Cola's got a great commercial, which I saw a couple of them coming up. Um, and uh, they're showing them as they go on over the course of the day. You usually see these. But is that going to come now? Is that product that they're promoting? Is it just saying, oh, yeah, they want to sit there and you know pound their chest and tell them, hey, I'm Pepsi, or do do they have a product that's going to sell? 
and they're waiting, and this is their secret weapon to promote it. You know what I mean? Like, that's what you got to look at. That's the key of knowing how to trade the Super Bowl. Are these stocks that they're coming out with right now, are these stocks that you're seeing, is it just going to be somebody sitting there to brag? You know, and I got, you know, uh, you know uh, uh, Tom Brady being the spokesperson? Or is it going to be Tesla saying, hey, we're launching the new iPhone? You know what I mean? And we're going to, we're going to compete against Apple and Samsung. What do you think is going to make the stock? What, what's, what's going to, when is the best time to launch that? And when's the best time? And what do you think that's going to do for the stock? You understand? That's why the Super Bowl is going to be big. These are the things you got to look at. But to do that, you have to see if the street's going to react to it. And we're going to find those coming into the morning. Because even when you have stocks like Apple and looking at level four quotes, which you know it's all we preach about, you're going to see those orders out there. We're going to see them in our watch list, and we're going to trade them. And that's what's going to help us get in and out of these positions. Now, is anybody here going to be around on Monday morning? Anyone going to be around? I hope you are. Because you probably want to see if this, any of this stuff is going to come to fruition. And you probably want to see if these orders are going to get done. You probably want to see these little heat maps and see you know, if these sellers are out there and who's getting executed and how much they're driving. But you can learn. you got to learn to, to earn in today's markets. And that's the key about good trading. So what I want to do right now is this. I want to invite all of you. Um, to come and join the trading room. Now, I know, you know, like I said, Todd, I know you're in the room. Thank you very much. And you know, we see something like this every day. We saw it with the AI stocks, right? AI did great. I don't know if anyone here saw the AI stocks. People are like, what the hell is AI? I heard that's like Terminator, you know, replacing us. AI, let me bring up this. Here we go. AI right here. Look at this stock, AI. Stock was $10, okay? It ran all the way to 31 right? And, you know, obviously now it's coming down because whatever goes up comes down twice as fast. But could you imagine having a stock at buying it at like 12 and selling it at 20 in a couple of days? I mean, the, 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 you got to know how to trade the times. And, you know, and there's always going to be something new that's going to come around and do that. So what I'm looking to do is I'm looking to invite all of you to come in my trading room and join us. Join us for the trading room. And see is how we're going to trade the Super Bowl stocks on Monday. All right. So now to do that, we're going to broadcast live at 9 a.m., just like we're doing now. But we're going to open up the room at 730. So we do a lot of pre-market trading. So we're going to see already if the street's going to start reacting to certain stocks that are moving, uh, moving for the day. So you definitely want to look into that. Then we'll do a live audio broadcast, which you know we're always live here on our social media. At 9 a.m., we'll do a live audio broadcast. And then we'll start trading going into those hours. Now, we're also going to be focused not only that, but we're going to have commentary running up all the way up until 2.30. Uh, and then we'll trade the close. So we got like two big times that we're going to trade. And then obviously with that, we're going to give you one week access to the trading room. So not only are we going to see what happens on Monday, because this is not going to Vegas for the night or the weekend. You're going to see other things that have come to fruition. Maybe the president might say something, you know, that might lead some company to go public. Maybe the Fed's going to make an announcement. Maybe a good company is going to have earnings. I don't know if you saw what happened with Lyft today. Everybody saw what happened with Lyft? Lyft got destroyed, destroyed today. Look at Lyft. Lyft got halted, went from $18 and went all the way down to $13, uh, 1031. And if you look over here over the course of the day, Look at this stock, destroyed, earnings announcements. Look at a two-day chart right here. Look at that. So I don't know. Maybe Lyft will come out with a good commercial. Maybe they're going to have a commercial. I don't know. Maybe they're, going to, maybe they're going to do something different. Someone's going to shock us. But I could tell you this, we're going to find out on Monday. So here's our agenda. There's all the stuff that you're going to get. Okay, we're going to run all day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Every day is a new adventure at Cyber Trading. You're going to get all this. Now, does anybody have any questions? before we move on, before I get everyone registered. But to get registered, 
This is what you're going to have to do. All you have to do to get into that workshop, I'm going to post a link up there, and you got to go to ctu.co trial. That's all you have to do. We used to have, we used to have a, a QR code here. I've got to post up the QR code. Okay. So if you're not registered, just click, uh, register on that link right there, and, uh, or you can call our staff, and we'll get you registered. Now, question is, how much money do you need? All you need is $9. That's it. $9. That's all you need to get started in this trading room. The reason why we're charging you $9 is because we don't know who you are, where you came from. Listen, we got hundreds of people that are listening in here. I'm not going to have hundreds of people in my trading room because I, I don't want to – listen, you don't want to deal with the riffraff. You don't want to go to a free concert. You just want a good deal. So I'm giving you a good deal. If you want to know what to trade and see what we're going to be trading in that morning, make that investment in $9, and that's all you're going to take. Do you need any money to do this? No. Do you need a brokerage account? No. We just want you to watch. That's all we're looking to do. Okay. Now, with that, I'm going to give you some workshops. I'm going to give you um, how to read level three, level four. Listen, I don't have too much time to spend here all day, but I am going to give you access to watch some recordings and some detailed videos on how to trade on those platforms. There we are, right there. So, all you got to do. Take your phone, scan it, get registered, and for $9, you're going to get in my trading for one week, and I'll show you how to read level three, level four. You're going to be able to talk to somebody in our office, and we're, we're, going, to, we're going to basically walk you through the room, and you're going to get into this trading room, which I'm showing you right now. Okay, Here's our trading room, and you can see right here on the right, I mean the left, these all the traders. They're all in here, and they're all students, all right? So you're going to have access to that. Now, does anybody have any questions in the meantime? As I see, um, now, as you guys assume some questions, a couple of shout-outs really quick. When you register, um, we're going to ask you just about five questions. Please let us know a little bit about you. The more you help us, the more we can help you. We want to know, do you have the, we want to make sure you have the right brokerage account. We don't work for the brokerage firms, but we want to know what kind of trader you are. Are you doing options? Are you doing swing trading? Are you doing Forex? Are you day trading? Um, you know, do you know what level three, level four is? We want to make sure that when you're going into here, you're going to have the greatest experience as possible. This is why we've been doing it for 30 years, and this is why we're endorsed by some of the biggest brokerage firms in the industry. And this is why we have such a great record on the internet. You know, we got a five-star rating on Google, which is unheard of in five years. But for $9, I told you, you want to learn how to trade the Super Bowl? You want to know what stocks are going to be moving? I told you some of the tricks of it. Now, your question is, do you want to figure on your own? Or do you want us to kind of help and work with my team and traders and work together? That's the beauty of it. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Ravana. That's, um, that's a, I really appreciate that you're, you're saying that. And uh, you know, being, being a student for us for such a long time, uh, it's always been great. Listen, you got to learn before you can earn. Absolutely. Thanks, Grant. Appreciate that too. Grant saying, you know, don't miss uh, your chance to learn. There you go. Now, um, listen, Trading, uh, just a couple of shout outs. Nicholas just got your registration. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. And just reading them off right here. I see some people just registering right now. Uh, Joshua got your registration. Rod got your registration from San Diego. Michael from Ohio got your registration. Welcome aboard. Look forward to it. All right. $9. That's all it is. You know what? This is what you're going to get. Just tell you really quick. Just let me remind everyone. You're going to get one week access in the trading room. Okay. You're going to get the, the, it, it, all that stuff right there from 745 to 5 o'clock. You are also going to get three workshops. Okay. Pro workshops. Topics are going to be trading with live level, level three and level four and much more. You're also going to get 100 hours of Traders Talk archives where we actually, every week, we do it live. You'll have access to the old ones where we're going to actually talk about what moved in the market. We're going to look at a student's journal, and we're going to review it with you. 
And you're going to get my book for $9 versus 47. It's the only and one of the only rare day trading books that are in existence next to the Souls Bandits and the Electronic Day Trader, which are about another 10 years older. So go out there. This is your opportunity. You're going to get all this stuff for $9. Okay? All you got to do is hit that scan. And you know what? As a bonus, you know what? I'll even do this. I'll throw this as a bonus. If you register now, I will even go out there and maybe even give you a coaching class. All right? You register right now. I'll actually talk to you on the phone. How many of you ever spoke to the owner? How many of you actually went out there and would like to consult the person that's going to mentor you before you actually made that investment? That's your opportunity. Okay? So with that said, uh, fellow traders, any other questions? Um, once again, how much I have to start, I'm looking at you. You don't need any money to start. You need $9. Listen, trading is a great job. We love it. It's awesome. You know how to play the game. But you can't be successful in any business without learning from other people's mistakes. You know, I can't tell you what to buy. You have to hit that button. You got to go out there and do it. But you got to start somewhere. What's the worst thing that could happen to you? Let, let me ask you, everybody. I mean, let's think about this for a second, fellow traders. Are you really making money doing this? I mean, how many classes do you have to keep taking before over and over again? Are, do, are you, are you, do you have a, a guru that's coaching you and working with you and reviewing your journals? Okay. You want to be able to trade today's markets, what's going on with all this volatility, and want to know how do I know why I should be trading certain watching commercials and that. It's experience. I've learned from the best in the industry. They taught me this. You know what I mean? So now you need to surround yourself with people like, okay, well, that sounds interesting. I hit a light bulb. Let me go out there and try to listen to what he's talking about. You got to do it yourself. But you gotta, it starts now, and it starts for a lousy $9. All right? Because let me tell you something. If you can't afford $9, then you can't afford to trade. And what you should be doing you should be looking for stockbrokers. And I have a couple of few of them. I could send it to you. I can refer them to you. But I don't know if you want to start paying high amount of commissions. Okay? But if you're not going to do it right, give it to somebody else to do it for you. All right, fellow traders. Listen, I got to get back into my trading room. I look forward to talking to all of you. Thank you so much for listening in. Um, appreciate everything you've done, everyone here. And uh, thank you very much. There you go. Look, Victor... I've subscribed to many tough services, uh, but a CTU is the best. You are, your trading is real time with friends. And that's what you want. You want to have good friends. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, Victor. And it's nice seeing you in the trading room also. All right, everyone. So with that said, I will see everybody in the trading room. Don't forget to register. I'll see everybody back on Monday morning. If you can't be there, don't worry. It will be recorded. And like I told you, if you, anything happens, you got Tuesday, you got Wednesday, you got Thursday, you got Friday. There's always going to be an adventure out there. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you back here uh, on Monday.